folks are ready to announce the results of the six-year-old cow show for the Guernsey show. Our first place junior is number 1755, Naps Best Buy Tarina, Alexis Frederick and Tinsley Williams, Mabel, Minnesota. Our production award winner goes to number 1757, True Land Aaron Delia, Casey and Tracy Nelson, Ellendale, Minnesota. Our third place finisher is Spring Hill Mentor Jazzy, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. Our second place finisher, South Lane King James Layla, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. And our first place finisher, as well as the winner of our Best Utter and Bread Known Award is Willowbrook, LeBron, LeBron Tony, Matthew and Wesley Aiken, West Middlesex, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Judge Seth, tell us some more about these six-year-olds. Well, it's just a, it's a pleasure to be in the middle of the ring when you've got cows like this that come out. And uh, I might live in Vermont, but I don't live under a rock. And there's, I know there's three cows in this class that have taken that tall trophy home in past years. And they're all great cows right up and down the line. But today, this cow that wins the class does so quite handily for me on the strength of that high, that wide rear udder that she's got. She has that advantage over the second place cow. You get in front of these two cows, this first cow is wider in that muzzle, she's wider in that front end, more width of the chest floor. She's just a powerhouse with an incredible, incredible rear udder. I do grant this second cow is a little less quartered from front to back and probably a little longer in her four udder attachment. And she does use her strength in udder attachments to place over this great framed cow that comes out in third. This second place cow is just a little higher in her rear udder attachment. She's holding that udder. She's had two more calves, and she's holding that udder higher above the hock today than this third place cow. She also walks more comfortably on the hock. She has more comfortable flex to her hock as she moves, and she's a bit stronger on those pasterns as she moves around the ring. Third over fourth, uh, this third cow in her own right is, uh, I believe, stronger in her udder attachments. She's holding that udder just a bit higher above the hock today. She's higher in her rear udder attachment and uh, just has that tremendous uphill run to overpower the cow coming out in fourth. The fourth place cow is so dairy, she's so silky, and she uses her own advantage in utter attachments today. She's a little more balanced from side to side than this uh, fifth place cow. She's certainly uh, stronger on her pasterns and just more comfortable moving about the ring. But this cow that comes out in fifth is silk from one end to the other. She's long as a train, she's thin-hided, and has a tremendous quality udder, and she uses that extreme dairy quality to place over the sixth place cow. Tremendous class of aged cows, congratulations. Folks, we'd like to announce some awards won by other members of this class for the International Guernsey Show. Our total performance award goes to number 1759, Spring Hill Mentor Jazzy, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. And our NASCO award for type and performance goes to number 1757, True Land Aaron Delia, Casey and Tracy Nelson, Ellendale, Minnesota. Congratulations. Those of you tracking results of the Guernsey Show, here are the results for the six-year-olds and older for the Guernsey Show. Number 1755 was sixth and first place junior, Naps Best Buy Tarina, Alexis Frederick and Tinsley Williams, Mabel, Minnesota. Number 1756 was our overall winner, Bread and Owned and Best Utter winner, Willowbrook, LeBron Tony, Matthew and Wesley Aiken, West Middlesex, Pennsylvania. Number 1757 finished fourth and also won our production award. True Land, Erin Delia, Casey and Tracy Nelson, Ellendale, Minnesota. Her production numbers. In 305 days of milking, she produced 16,856 pounds of milk, 946 pounds of protein at 5.6, of milk fat at 5.6%, and 621 pounds of protein at 3.7%. Number 1758 did not show. Number 1759 finished third, Spring Hill Mentor Jazzy, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. 1760 did not show. 1761 finished second, South Lane King James Layla, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. And number 1762 was fifth.
Folks, at this time I'd like to introduce the entries for Senior Champion Female of the Junior Show for this year's Guernsey Show. Number 1746 is Spring Hill Mentor Jamaica, Kayla Carley and Colby Stoltzwis, East Earl, Pennsylvania. Number 1744 is Hartdale Mentor Coconut, Lauren Robeson and Braden Hartman, Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Number 1750, Hartdale Top Notch Coco, also Lauren Robeson and Braden Hartman, Mulberry Grove, Illinois. And 1755, Naps Best by Tarina, Alexis Frederick and Tinsley Williams of Mabel, Minnesota. Our senior champion female of the Junior Show Award is presented by Dig Legal Farm, the Giddings family of Brandon, Vermont. Champion banners presented by Genovations, Lodi, Wisconsin. And the rosette presented by Doug and Linda Hodorf, Eden, Wisconsin. Our reserve senior champion female of the Junior Show Award is presented by Jan Air Curtains, LLC, Northfield, Minnesota. Reserve champion banner presented by Genovations, Lodi, Wisconsin. And the rosettes presented by Doug and Linda Hodorf, Eden, Wisconsin. In the International Red and White Show Ring, Judge Black has completed his placings in our five-year-old cow class. We'd like to recognize the juniors in the class. Second place junior is entry 2556, Zareview Absolute High Time Red, exhibited by Rosalie Zare of Grayman, Illinois. She also wins the Junior Bread and Owned Award. Our production award winner is entry 2567, Ms. Potsdale Defiant Tang Red, exhibited by Golden Oaks Farm of Wakanda, Illinois. Placing third in the class is entry 2553. She's also our winning junior and wins the Bread and Owned Award. Cherry Lore Lad Ripple Red, exhibited by Matthew Boop and Kale Hembury of Milmont, Pennsylvania. Second in the class is entry 2551, Ms. AOL Contender Revive Red, exhibited by Fairholm, Wapsiana, and Triple S of Anamosa, Iowa. And winning the class and also named Best Utter is entry 2561, Highcroft Absolute Lily Red, exhibited by Glamourview, Jaeger and Walton, and Eaton Holsteins of Marietta, New York. Congratulations. Judge Black, your comments on the class. Well, ladies and gentlemen, keep that going. Give this class another big, big round of applause. Incredible cows from top to bottom. With that being said, a cow that blows the class away. A cow that's extremely good in mammary system, and it is that height, that width to a rear out of that definition of crease, that utter texture and utter quality carries her over our beautiful frame cow here coming out in second. Second place cow over the cow in third. A cow that just moves around the ring a little more comfortably today. She's straighter lined all the way through. She's showing us a little more width, depth, and openness all the way through than a lovely uttered cow here in third. The third place cow over the cow in fourth. A cow that's longer over four udder. She's leveler in the floor of her udder today than this big powerful cow here in fourth. The fourth place cow over the cow in fifth, the cow just handling her loin a little nicer. Prefer that slope from her hips to her pins, her strength to loin, to carry her over this extremely dairy cow here in fifth. Fifth over sixth, a cow that just showing us such so much more crease, so much more height and width to that rear udder today than another big, long, stylish cow here in sixth. Thank you. <laughs> 